From the station working for you, this is an RTV6 update. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. The U.S. Department of Education released a plan this morning that would impact how Indiana colleges and universities handle allegations of sexual misconduct. Education Secretary Bessie DeVos's guidelines would narrow the definition of sexual harassment and allow students accused of misconduct to cross-examine their accuser's representatives. Personal confrontations would not be allowed. The proposal also gives greater protections to accused students and gives campus officials more flexibility to help students who don't want to file a formal complaint. RTV6 is reaching out to local organizations to get their response. The department's proposed ruling would open the pu be open for public comment for the next 60 days. Holiday festivities are back here in central Indiana and on Friday night cars will line up at IMS not to race but to check out the lights of the brickyard. We got a sneak peek at this year's display. Three million lights decorated two mile course through the IMS infield and historic oval. You can buy tickets online as well as a speedy pass that'll let you skip the lines. The display will stick around until December 30th. Time now for a check of our forecast, Todd. And if you have plans this Friday evening, you're going to have to bundle up. Temperatures are going to be in the 30s. The good news is though that it is going to be dry. Skies will still be mostly cloudy around the area, but we're not expecting any precipitation. That changes, unfortunately, for your Saturday. Most of tomorrow will be dry with just increasing clouds. But once we get into the afternoon and evening hours, there is a cold front that is going to come through. Before that front arrives, temperatures should get up into the 40s. But this front will make its way from north to south through central Indiana during the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. With it, some scattered showers, some snow showers as well, but we are not expecting any accumulation. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, you can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.